Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Majid Mahmoud recording for the Daily Reminder. I would like to share with you a very interesting hadith where we will extract some lessons from it and then suggest an action item insha'Allah. There were two people that went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and don't forget sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They went to him, why? To become Muslims and they both two people convert on the same day. One of them used to work a little harder than the other for the sake of Allah in da'wah, in jihad and so on to an extent that that person died as a martyr. The other friend, he died one year later at regular death, perhaps on bed or at work or so on. Talha bin Ubaidillah, a very righteous companion, he had a dream. In that dream he saw himself, he says, I was in front of the gates of Jannah and I saw these two people that became Muslim. And then a, an angel came out of Jannah and admitted the one who died later into Jannah first. Then the angel came outside and admitted the one who was martyred in the dunya second. Then the angel came for the third and last time and told me, Talha, irja, you go back, your time has not come yet. Talha woke up and he was so shocked and he was so amazed. He started telling people about the dream which he had. He went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't forget, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, never stop. No matter how many times you hear his beautiful name, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet told him, Ya Talha, why are you amazed? He said, Ya Rasulullah, a shaheed, a martyr, such a high status and honor. He goes to Jannah after the regular man who died only one year later. Subhanallah, how is it possible, Ya Rasulullah? He's not complaining from Allah. He's just wondering, he wants to know what is it that he has done that made him go to Jannah first because he has high dreams and ambitions and hope. So he would for sure, inshaAllah, pursue whatever that man did so he can go to Jannah first. Now before I move on this hadith, just to have a bigger picture and feel what Talha is experiencing, what's the status of Shaheed? What is so special that Talha thought by default Shaheed should go first? Number two, Talha, why does it matter, radiallahu anhu of course, who goes to Jannah first if they eventually went to Jannah? Well, it matters a lot. Number one, status of a Shaheed. I'll mention one hadith for you to understand a little bit of it. And may Allah grant us the reward of the Shaheed. Say Ameen. Rasulullah said that Allah will bless the Shaheed with six traits. Number one, that the first drop of blood that will be shed from their body, Allah will forgive all of their sins and they will be able to see their seat in Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised them that they will not be punished in the grave. They will not be scared and fearful when the people are so scared and running around when? On Yawm Al-Qiyamah. They will be given a crown of honor and dignity, Al-Wiqar. A lot of jewels are attached to it. Only one of them is more valuable than the whole earth and whatever it contains. Allahu Akbar. They will also be given amongst the most beautiful spouse ever created by Allah. And lastly, they will be able to intercede for 70 of their family members. What an honor, Allahu Akbar. You see now he is so shocked why the shaheed went next, subhanAllah. The other thing that we may ask, why does it matter who goes first? Wallahi, it matters a lot. We would kill one another, perhaps not us, but we saw on TV, people would rush, I want to get the latest iPhone, I don't want to be the second, I want to be the first one, take pictures, tweet it, and so on. And this is dunya stuff, people would camp outside the movie theater for the latest movie that comes out, subhanAllah. Aren't we more worthy to be excited to be the first one to ever hug the Prophet, to be the first one to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that the first group that, <coughs> sorry, the first group that goes to Jannah first is not as beautiful as the one who goes second. Why? Those first batch of people, may Allah make me and you amongst them, say Ameen. May Allah make us amongst them. They will have the beauty of the moon. The second batch will have also gorgeous faces and bodies, but as beautiful as the brightest star. So even that matters. So let's be ambitious and see what is it that man did that made him reach that level. Now back to the main hadith. The Prophet said, Talha, you're amazed? He says, yes, and he explains why. The Prophet asked him a question. And look at the beautiful answer. He said, Ya Talha, didn't that man witness one more later beyond that man who died as a martyr? He said, Bala. He said, didn't that man, therefore, he witnessed the month of Ramadan? Huh? Didn't he witness the whole month of Ramadan and he prayed more 
Bala ya Rasulullah. He said, Rasulullah said, due to the witnessing of Ramadan and the praying of more, that man, the difference between him and the martyr is like the difference between the heavens and the earth. Subhanallah. You know how much hope this gives me when I was preparing this talk, and I hope it gives you as well, that one Ramadan can take you beyond the shaheed, can take you beyond the one who has the whole Quran memorized if you come to Allah with sincerity. One year of worship and ibadah and prayers. Now I remembered, and this is an action item I would like to conclude with. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man qama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbih. Whoever stands up in the night to worship Allah with two conditions, iman and ihtisab, and full hope in Allah's reward. What will happen? All of their sins are forgiven. So can I promise myself, and you promise yourself, you will never waste a single night of Ramadan after Isha, before Fajr, except that you will pray at night, which is a recommended bonus prayers, so we can achieve that reward. Inshallah, we will never miss a night of Ramadan without doing Qiyamul Layl, whether in the Masjid or at home, but we will never miss it, Inshallah. Please do your best to have benefit to the people by sharing this and liking it. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.